Hello students, let us start the second module of the chapter. Poverty as a challenge. The fourth part of the chapter is, let's start from here, that is poverty estimation. If we estimate the poverty, then but we will see that we have to see the data of last few years in poverty and what these data are saying is first that the decline in poverty in the percentage we see and on other hand we also see decline in poverty in people the first one decline in poverty in percentage as you can see in 1973-74 whole over 54 that is approximately 55 percent poverty was there in, in India while after two decades it was only 36 percent and in the year 2000 the total poverty ratio in India was 26 percent means out of 100 crore 26 percent people are poor or in people uh, we also see that poverty in people also as the population is growing but we see that poverty is declining the number of people also as you can see in 1973-74 it was 32 crore 0.1 10 lakh while in 1993-94 it was 32 crore and in 2000 it was only 26 crore so the poverty is declining in India if we see the data of last 50 years as we said that poverty is found in India but there are some few groups where we see a lot of poverty and these groups are known as vulnerable groups students the proportion of poverty is not same in all the groups in India there are few groups in India where we see a lot of poverty especially in ST and SC they are more vulnerable to poverty the reason behind it is not only that they are uh, belongs to a backward caste plus the other reason is that they are also landless so here what we see is the double disadvantages of double disadvantages In India, except the settled tribes, the rest of the three groups that is the settled caste, the rural agricultural laborers, means the farmers which are landless or the urban casual laborers, the workers which are found in the cities, uh, we see a decline in poverty in these three groups but not in the ST. Among these particular marginalized groups, there are some other groups also in India who comes in vulnerable groups and these are women, elderly people and the, the female infants. They all, the women and elderly people and the female infants, they all are denied equal access to resources available in the family. As we see, as we all know that more than 70% people in India are living in the rural areas and in rural areas, 
women are doing a lot of work but not getting proper food and other facilities the same we think that in india basically people prefer male child so if a female infant is there so they killed it or tried to basically they killed it and this thing is found in the northern western and central part of india and the another thing which we see is that the elderly people the grandparents they are also face this thing so we include these things also in vulnerable groups as we see see some there are some particular groups are found that they have more poverty similarly if we see the distribution of poverty in india then also there are the, some particular states which has more poverty than other states so our next part the sixth part of the chapter is the interstate disparities there has been decline in poverty in india since last three decades as it was 32 34% in the year 1973-74 to 26% in the year 2000 but it varies from state to state first the states with poverty ratio more than the national average means more than 26 percent here the main states which comes are orissa bihar up mp and tripura in these five states we found a lot of poverty in which orissa comes number one second are those states The states with poverty ratio less than national average means less than 26%. Here comes 20 states of plus UTs, that is the unit territories. 20 states and unit territories means the 6 are the unit territories except Delhi and 14 are the states. And the third are those states with very low poverty ratio in India. Means they comes in developed states. And these five states are Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, and a unit territory that is Delhi. So this is how we see that there is a lot of variations of poverty found in India in different different states. That's all in the part two of the chapter. We continue our third module also, which complete our chapter. That's all for today. Any kind of problems and doubt you can send me your comments. I will definitely reply you or you can visit to my blog which is dipindogra.blogspot.in. Thank you.